Nakilala siya buhat sa kanyang husay sa pag-arte. Isang pintor, isang ina. Siya si Melissa Mendez. Halikat sa manyo kung tuklasin ang tunay na kwento ng kanyang buhay. Tita Melissa, hi! Hello! Hello, Tita! Hello. Welcome to Real Talk. Thank you so much. Alright, Tita Melissa, to start off, can you tell us more about your childhood years? Uh, actually, we came from an impoverished family in Alongapo City. I grew up there, poor, and my parents, they really worked hard just to be able to send us to school. And I saw a lot of their sacrifices, what they have done, just uh, to make ends meet. During those times also, I already knew how to do businesses. Like, I was in grade school, I was selling uh, curly tops, oh, I was selling <laughs> banana queue. And then finally, I, I had to, I graduated high school, I had to go to college, and they sent me to St. Louis University in Baguio. Mm -hmm. That's where I started. I took up mass communications. But then again, uh, since my father did not go back to Saudi Arabia where he worked for more than four years, um, they couldn't afford anymore for me to study in St. Louis University because it was really very expensive. Mm -hmm. So they decided to send me to Manila. Paano naman nagbukas ang mundo ng showbiz sa'yo? I was studying in FEU, taking up mass communications. My professor became so fond of me because I was so bibo, I would always raise my hands. And so he asked me, you know what, you can be an actor, a, a movie star. And I said, really, would you like to be an actor? I said, yes, sir, because I wanted to help my parents. And from that time on, I became I started a movie with uh, Rudy Fernandez. I became his leading lady. Sa tingin nyo, lahat ng yon, ano pinaka major talaga na challenge ng buhay nyo na na-encounter nyo along the way na masasabi nyo, nagpalakas sa inyo at nagpatatag sa inyo? Ang um, masasabi ko dyan, uh, when I was very young, I vividly remember, I was only, I think, nine years old at the time. Uh, the brother of the of my grandmother who is spanish they have a spanish blood 50 percent of course they're very aristocratic no he told me that i wouldn't amount to anything and it really pierced my heart and i thought to myself i wouldn't take this against my grandfather but i would take this as a tool for me to show them that I can attain something, that I can be somebody someday. Tulad ng ibang ilaw ng tahanan, handa rin siyang isakripisyo ang lahat para sa kapakanan ng kanyang pamilya. Uh, as a mother, I'm, I'm, I'm very considerate, I'm very loving, caring, thoughtful. Uh, I love them unconditionally. Like, I would give everything. I would give my life because they're the best and the greatest gifts that God has given me. Kitang kita naman tita Melissa kasi kahit sa aming mga anak-anakan mo rin sa showbiz, talagang nararamdaman namin kung gaano mo ka rin kami kamahal at kung gaano ka concerned sa amin lalo na dun sa grupo natin na volleyball. Pero Melissa, alam natin you've mentioned about na iiwan ka dito mag-isa sa bahay. We want to know uh, besides showbiz, what makes you busy? May business po ba kayo na pinagkakaabalahan? I am a painter. I love taking care of my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Like, I love uh, putting them to sleep, I love baiting them, I love playing with them. So that's my happiness and my joy. And I'm so grateful also to the Lord that He has given me a husband who is so God, who is so faithful and so loving and so supportive. As we went through all those trials and tribulations, we became stronger. And because God is in the center of our relationship, which is the most important thing in any relationship at, uh, for that matter. Sa kabila ng mga pagsubok na napagdaanan ni Melissa Mendez, siya ay nanatiling matatag at masaya hanggang ngayon. If you will remember, I was on Instagram for more than a month. Yes. Because uh, my panic disorder came back. Mm -hmm. It it reoccurred. I would have panic attack. Mm -hmm. And when you have panic attack, 
what would you, you would feel is there would be numbness of the body. This is one great challenge that I faced and I was able to overcome. And my hands and my feet were very cold and I, I would it and uh, there would be palp palpitations of the heart and hyperventilation and it would feel like you're gonna die. Mm -hmm. I decided I had to go and seek help. Mm -hmm. So I sought the help of a psychiatrist, so she helped me. And now I'm okay, yes. I'm back to normal. My peace and my joy is back. I have been restored by the Lord. I want to work, tapings here and there, because it is my passion, yes. it is my joy to act in front of the cameras, to be with colleagues like you, to be with, you know, with my co-actors, working with them, laughing with them, bonding with them like a family, you know. I want a soap opera, I want a teles teleserie. Before we end, Tita, do you have any message or lessons in life that you would like to impart the youth of today? Never with anyone. Always compete with yourself. Because if you compete with people, you just end up, you know, a loser. And don't judge anyone because you have no right to judge people. Only God can judge us. Baka magulat na lang tayo yung mga tao na iniisip natin na mapupunta sa impyerno at nasa langit pala because we don't know the sovereignty of God. Ako po si Melissa Mendez, isang aktor, anak, isang asawa, isang magulang, isang lola, isang kristyano, tunay na tao, at yan ang aking tunay na kwento. Thank you.